ಗುರುವಾಯೂರ್ ಗುರುವಾಯೂರ್ ಟೌನ್ ಎಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಗುರು ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗುರುವಾಯೂರ್ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ಟೌನ್ ಎಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಗುರು ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಯು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಟು ದ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಚೂರ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ತ್ರಿಚೂರ್ ಗುರುವಾಯೂರಪ್ಪನ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುರುವಾಯೂರ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಥಳ ಪುರಾಣ ಆರ್ ದ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಲಿಜೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ನಾರದೀಯ ಪುರಾಣ ಗುರು ಪವನ ಪುರ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ನಾರದೀಯ ಪುರಾಣ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದ್ವಾರಕಾ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ಗೇವ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಉದ್ಧವ ವಿತ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುರು ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ದ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಯು the wind god it should be installed in a suitable holy place when guru and vayu came to the south in search of a suitable place the sage parashuram helped them to find one and got it installed in this temple so the temple is believed to be at least 5000 years old king janamejaya the great grandson of arjuna is said to have worshiped this deity to get rid of his leprosy which he contracted by the performance of the sarpa yaga janamejaya suffered from leprosy because of the sarpa yaga which he performed and he worshiped this deity and was cured of leprosy the temple was plundered and looted by the dutch in 1756 hyder ali in 1766 and tipu sultan in 1789 and it was ultimately saved and maintained by the princess of the zamorin family in ad 1792 from 1825 onwards the condition of the temple improved mainly due to the dedicated services of the ulanad panikkar panikkar's family panikkar in 1970 a huge fire destroyed a major part of the buildings but the main shrine and the subsidiary ones were miraculously untouched it is believed that uh, it is uh, an act of self purification which the elements in the temple performed because of the desecration brought about by hyder ali tipu sultan and uh, the dutch the presiding deity the presiding deity in the sanctum sanctorum is uh, called sri koil is that of narayana in a standing posture it is made of a rare stone called patala anjanam black bismuth black bismuth patala anjanam patala anjanam black bismuth it has four arms carrying the shanka chakra gada and padma and adorned with a tulasi garland and a pearl necklace the walls of the sri koil that is the sanctum sanctorum are adorned with paintings depicting krishna's childhood pastimes the eastern gateway called bhuvaikuntham is the main entrance bhuvaikuntham is the main entrance in the east there are structures in the temple one for krishna attam dance drama on krishna one structure in this area and uh, within the temple complex there are two vatil mattams raised platforms with carved pillars Uh, temple kitchen and uh, sh- shrines for ganesha uh, and shasta that is ayappa it is interesting to note that there is a permanently closed cell on the western side of the kitchen it is believed to house many precious jewels and is believed to be guarded by the pancha nagas five divine serpents that is a cell on the western side of the kitchen containing jewelry and guarded by the panchanagas the main temple at guruvayur follows an elaborate system of rituals initiated by adi shankaracharya there are five main pujas per day spread over the period 3 am to 10 pm the utsava murti uh, processional image is taken around the main shrine twice a day mounted on an elephant the darshan at 3 am with all the flowers and garlands of the previous day is considered extremely auspicious this is known as nirmalya darshana 
Nirmalya used flowers to be removed and thrown away in a place set apart for it. Usually there will be a heavy crowd of devotees for this particular uh, darshan, Nirma, Nirmalya darshana, 3 a.m. early morning darshan. One of the popular modes of offering by the devotees is the tulabharam. It is a ritual of weighing oneself against a specified material like bananas, sugar, jaggery, coconuts, sandalwood and so on. The material is then gifted to the temple. The festivals which are celebrated important ones are Gita Jayanti, Visu, New Year's Day which falls generally on 15th April, Akshaya Tritiya, April May, Brahmotsavam, the main annual festival spread over 10 days during February, March. An elephant race is a great attraction there. And the Bhagavata Saptaha. Recital of Bhagavatam spread over seven days is conducted here very often. And a recital of the Narayaniyam. Narayaniyam is a very popular work in Kerala and it is a condensed version of the Bhagavatam composed by Mepattur Narayana Bhattatri, Narayana Bhattatri path in 1560-1625, Narayana Bhattatri. And a recital of Narayanayam is also conducted regularly in the Guruvayur temple. And Krishnatam, of course, is always performed there. There is a Krishnatam is a dance drama with characters acting their roles while the story is narrated by others. And also singers are there. Enacted, it is enacted over nine days with one theme from Krishna's life. Uh, and Guruvayur is famous for the innumerable miracles that have been attributed to the grace of the Lord here. Uh, the votaries belonging to non-Hindu faiths also are drawn towards this deity. The gingerly oil used in bathing of the image during Abhishekam is in great demand since it is believed to be a sure medicine for arthritis and similar diseases. It is uh, interesting to note that the story of the temple elephant, Keshavan by name, which served the temple during all the festivals and ceremonies for 62 years, including the carrying of the uh, Thi Dambu, who golden howda, for 54 years. It was extremely docile and friendly. It died quietly and suddenly in AD 1976 in front of the chief gateway, as if bowing down to the deity. A life-size image of this elephant had been installed in the campus, and its day of demise is celebrated with a procession of decorated elephants.